hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kemza james so guys today i bring you a very interesting video we are going to be learning how to make a knife pleated skirt all right guys for our new subscribers you're welcome for the old ones you're all welcome so to run you through what we'll be needing for our knife pleated um skirt we're going to be needing a fine iron you can see mine is a, is a steam pressed iron you would actually need this so you can still make do with the non-steam iron but this will go a long way to help you to keep your folds in place so you need this you'll be needing a ruler a pair of scissors a tape and then guys i know we said a knife pleated iron so you'll be wondering what do we need a fork for and then you also be wondering is this like some sort of food or a kitchen thing lest i forget i'm a foodie guys but that's not the issue we're not going to be using the fork to be eating we're going to be using it to make our pleats so you need a fork you need, this is not compulsory but this is a trick and it does help a lot so we'll be needing a chalk to mark our lines and then most definitely we'll be needing a print so i'm using this ankara print this is an african print or african wax it's from my collection. You can check me out, Timmy Kemza James on Instagram and Timmy Kemza James on Facebook. I have a wide range of fabrics that you can make your selection from. This one is called the English Wax. This is an English Wax. That's what they call it. And the design is actually called, um, there's a way they call it record. This record comes in different designs and different colors. So you can actually pick from that i think i should do a video where i'm going to be teaching you um ankara and their names how you can find them in the market so guys let's get into the video proper i've come here to cut so what i'm going to i've cut out my fabric that i'll be needing so the quantity you will need is your waist measurement times three plus like two inches for zip um for your zip allowance or for closing up your skirt together so that's what i have here like so so this is my waist times three then plus my two inches for my for my zip so this is it so now i'm going to mark out the length of my skirt so the length of my skirt is 25 so i'm going to measure 25 like so because i need to i need to cut out just that length to make it easy for me to work with so i don't have to pleat the entire fabric before so i'm just going to mark 25 then from the 25 i'm going to add three inches for I'm going to add three inches like so for my hemming allowance which is giving me a total of 28 inches if you want a if your seam sewing at your hemming allowance to be smaller you can actually go ahead and mark lesser than 23 inches that le lesser than three inches so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so this is a very very easy skirt to make so it's it's actually a good start for beginners so i'm keeping this away then i'm going to open up my print and find the midpoint i'm just going to give a good snip around a notch around the midpoint um, of my material so i'm just going to open that up like 
like so. Now I'm working on the right side. Usually you know that I work on the wrong side of my fabric. But this time around, I'm working on the right side of my fabric. So on this right side, I'm going to mark out one inch. That's my that's sewing allowance. You remember I left two, one inch on both sides. So I'm marking one inch, one inch, then I'm going to connect that point together in a straight line. Now, this is where we'll be needing our fork. So from here, this is what I'm going to do. Keep your your iron on standby. We no longer be needing our chalk and our scissors. So what I'm just going to do is this. Look at this closely, guys. I'll just, this side of the fork, the first um, tip here, I'm just going to place, so I'll just grab this point like so. Then I'm going to turn that like this. I forgot to tell you guys, you'll be needing a lot of pins. So I'm just going to grab a pin. Hold that down. It's actually a tedious job, but it's something that you can easily do. It doesn't need much technicality, so I'm going to do it again. Sorry guys. You make sure that the second um, pleat, let it fall where the first one. So the first few pleats you'll be making might be difficult, but once your hands just get used to that, you'll be good. You pin that down. Let me do it some more for you to see. So by the time I do these first few ones, I'm just going to make sure my pleats falls straight to the hem. Then I'll come over with my iron, give it a nice press. this to arrange this properly then I'll fold if you look at this you don't need to struggle with the pleat when you do the first one it should fall naturally towards the hem like so so it's not something you should struggle with press that down that's why you need a steam iron because it holds those, um, the steam actually holds your pleats to be fine.
can see the steam coming out so this is what you want to have at the end of the day you can see this this is what you want to have so that's what i'm going to be doing until i get to the end of my fabric that's what i'll be doing i'll just pin it down i'll make my pleats like so look how i'm putting it the fog just the way you eat like so then i'm just going to grab the with one one end of the fork i'll just grab that then turn it back to the eating technique like this so it's just to roll over the fork so you can try this before you continue this um, procedure before you start your skirt just make sure you try doing your your knife pleats using your fork before you try but if you can't use the fork you can just mark out put your maybe you take like one inch you measure one inch like so that's another way of doing the same thing in case you don't want to use the fork is just to mark one inch one inch one inch until you get to the end of the fabric then what you want to do is just to bring this like so then you skip one you go over to the next one like so so whichever way you find easier is what you do so i kind of like the the fork pleats because it makes my pleats very very even so that's why i'm using the the fork pleats at this point i am just going ahead to finish my pleat so i missed the step guys that i was supposed to tell you i was supposed to hem my fabric before i start my pleat so as you can see i'm just going into double fold using that three inch sewing allowance that i left i'm just double folding and using my hemming gum to just hem that nicely so it actually gave me double work before i came back to pleat so guys i've um finished my cutting my ironing my pinning and all the those uh, procedures you can see what it looks like you can see them so now i'm going to sew so i'll start by closing the the waist area so that i can remove all my pins so that i can stay together you can see everything is nice and hemmed so i'm just going to be taking one pin at a time so very close to the edge here like using 0 0.5 inch seam allowance that's what i'm going to be sorry like 0 0.5 cm is what i'm going to be using to close up to sew my pleats together This is what we have at the moment this is it so now my my pleats are actually in place so i'm just going to match my right sides of my fabric together so i can insert i can close up my skirt and insert my my zip so i'm just going to match my skirt like so going to close it using that one inch allowance I'm just going to go ahead and close it so when I get to where I want my zip the length of my zip to reach I'm just going to back stitch at that point I'm going to go over and fix my zip before my waistband so you can see this is a very very easy skirt to make so this is the lower part of my zip I'm just going to place that like so I have a video where I thought on how to how to insert a zip on your outfit so I'm going to be linking it in the description box below
here we go i'm going to turn my skirt back to the right side of the skirt so you see this is my zip i'm going to draw that open so that i can cut this excess zip i have here so i'm just going to cut the excess zip that i have here so this is my zip I cannot draw it all the way up so I'm going to fix my waistband now so here we go for my waistband I just cut out six inches wide and then is as long as my waist plus five inches that five inches I'm going to be using folding it in and making a little bit belt extension so on this point here this is what I'm going to do I just went ahead to add um, some form of an interfacing in between and the purpose of that is to give the waistband sort of a snatched look and a firmer look there so that's what I did so now I'm going to come over to prepare my waistband so I can start fixing so I just fold it facing the wrong side like so I'm going to sew just look at what I'm doing. I just turned it um, sort of inside out. So when I sew the how wide I want my waistband to be, I'm just going to sew like two inches like so. to put some of these excess allowances on where I sewed like that. I'm just going to put those allowance out. Then I'm going to flip this point over again. See, look at what it looks like now. So I'm just going to turn that over. This is what I want to create. You can see. This is what I want. So what I'm going to be doing is this point where the the side where um, where it does not have the the hemming gum. I'm going to reduce the allowance on that side. I'm going to reduce part of this. I'm going to cut out some part of it and you see why i'm doing that shortly now i'm just using this method because it's actually the easiest method to fix the waistband so i don't really want to get us into any form of extra technicalities that's why i'm doing this considering the fact that we have beginners on our channel so i'm trying to just do this to get everybody along so by the time i do that this side now becomes the shorter side the side without the the interfacing becomes shorter than this other side so i'm going to sew now if you enjoyed this video guys please give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i have a new video up on my channel so guys if you replicate this please don't forget to tag me on all your replications on instagram i would love to see them and if you're doing this and you have any challenge or you have questions you have um, suggestions you can actually drop it in the comment section i'll be available to answer your comments you can also send me a dm on instagram to at james i'll be so glad to see your applications guys thank you for watching bye so all my seam allowances are going to be on the right side this is our right side so i'm going to sew only on one piece and which is the side where there is no um interfacing For that interfacing, I'm actually use I used um, paper stay. So you 
can actually use any one of your choice. Just measuring this to ensure that it's my exact um, waist measurement I'm, I'm eventually using. By the time I get here, you see I have excess um, allowance here, so I'm going to cut that to be shorter. Now, on this other point, instead of folding it like that, like the initial one, what I'm going to do is just to fold over like so. So the allowance that I have, I'm just folding it over from that zip side, like so. So I'm just going to sew. see everything is now back to the front side of uh, our outfit so what I'm going to do now is to fold this look at this carefully closely I'm just going to fold this like so you see the initial allowance that we left then I'm going to turn it over like this right let me show you again I'll fold this like so then I'll fold it, bring it over to close this side. Then I'm just going to sew just close to where my wristband begins. So I'm just I'm sewing really close to the beginning of the waistband as you're doing that make sure you're not completing or sewing your pleats anyhow make sure it's nice and still even the way it is initially 
So be mindful of those kids. point I'm just going to make sure I'm talking everything inside all my raw edges is just is just typically going to be tucked in you can just pin this all through before you start sewing if you're a beginner you should pin it in if possible you can press it down using your hemming glue to glue it down before you sew. So guys here is our skirt yeah we are 99% done so what I'm going to do is at this point you can see this will lap over here so what I'm going to be doing now is quite simple you can see how cute it looks so I'm going to add my either button or hook and eye or press button whatever you want to use to hook the waistband is totally fine so I'm just going to add that then that would be it about our skirts. Look how long.